morning everyone it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas and welcome to a little video that I call taking care of Hoya Bella the Doug Chamberlain way so this is a fairly new way that I've been caring for for Bella and it's been working out very well for me first let's take a look at all of the different types of Hoya Bella I think I have uh, most if not all of them on display here so first of all let's look at this outer variegated Hoya Bella uh, Albo Marginata and it also has another name Aneki Buis B-U-I-S you can see how absolutely lovely this Hoya is just fabulous fabulous plant it's hard to get an appreciation of all the flowers unless you look at it from um, underneath the plant but pretty hard when I'm the only one filming the video to be able to pull that off so there is that plant then we're going to take a look at the inner variegated Ho Hoya Bella Louis Bois L-U-I-S B-O-I-S just a lovely plant it's covered in buds right now it should be flowering up a storm pretty quick this was the hard a pretty hard hoya bella to get going but once i tell you my method after i switched to this method this plant has been growing very well this was only started restarted probably eight months ago and i already have a a nice plant from a few little cuttings and here we have Hoya Paxtonii, which is a long, elongated, narrow leaf version of Hoya Bella, which I think makes an absolutely striking specimen. A um, couple months ago, this thing was just covered in flowers. It was really outstanding. You can give you a close-up of that. Here's another one right here. Very nice. Um, let's see here. Okay, this here I find to be the most difficult of all the Hoya Bellas to grow. It's PES03. It's the all white flowered Hoya Bella, but this is the first time that I've actually had, since I've been keeping this probably eight years, this is the first time I've had a specimen that looks this nice. just very very nice i'm very excited about this hang that back up there and then here we have a hoya seedling bella that i started from seed back in 2020 these are cuttings off the original plant quite similar to the regular hoya bella and here i have uh, these are from a seed pod developed in late 2022 that ruptured in 2023 and i started the seeds probably around february i would say of this year and i've already got a nice little plant like that it's, it's really cool to be able to start a plant from seed of the thousands and thousands of hoya bella flowers i've had over the years i've only had two pollinations once in 2020 and once in 2022 and this is the this is the one that got pollinated in 2022. So let's talk about how I'm growing these. My Hoya Bellas really took off after I switched to coconut husk as the medium. Coconut husk and large flowered perlite. You'll have to excuse the F-35s that are flying overhead, but that's the noise that you're hearing. Um, but coconut husk with a little bit of large perlite thrown in makes an ideal medium for Hoya Bella. And then I'll show you what else I need. You need these little black plastic pots are the best thing ever. I looked for these for 10 years and finally located them on Amazon. They're available. Google uh, six inch small pots and you should come up with these black pots. They're absolutely the ideal Hoya pot for hanging hanging Hoyas. I just absolutely love them. Then 
in order to water these properly, I get into a routine and I water these once a week. You need a bucket that fits this pot. And I found uh, this bucket here that's a former Jack's fertilizer bucket, which is also what I use in my water, Jack's 202020. And then you saturate this pot. It's the only way, since water runs right through coconut husk, you have to water this until the water comes right up to the top. Let it sit for 20 seconds or so, pour the water out, and then repeat this in a week. You need to get into a routine with these hoyas. I find that a routine works the best. So we'll saturate that with water. Normally you wait until the water comes right up to the uh, to the top. So I would have to add a little bit more water to it, but you get the idea. Let it sit for a little while, pull it out, drain it, and it saturates the media. There's still enough room between all those chunks of coconut husk and perlite so that the roots can breathe easily. That's the main, main thing you're looking for. Um, this intervariegated Bella, I lost it two, two or three times trying to grow it in a, a different medium, primarily peat-based medium or a heavier medium. It did not work well with this Hoya at all. So you pull this up like this, you can see the water just pouring out of it. You tip it off sideways, which is easier to do when you have two hands. And then hang it back up and you're good for a week. So if you're willing to go through that work, you can have Hoya Bellas that look like look like this. Just really incredible. I'm very excited, especially this this PES03, which would never grow properly in any other kind of mix, but has really taken off in the coconut husk with a little perlite. So I just wanted to share my secret in growing these really nice specimens of Hoya Bella. So if you've struggled with this in the past, give this method a try with coconut husk, water weekly, finding the uh, perfect size bucket to submerge your plant, and go from there. And I hope it works as well for you as it has for me. Good morning, everyone. This is just a little addendum to my Hoya Bella video. I had to bring out the outer variegated Hoya Bella just to show you how incredible it is in the few weeks since I filmed the uh, the segment showing you how I care for my Hoya Bella. Look at the flowers on this plant. I don't know if you can really get an appreciation. You have to look at this thing totally from underneath to get the full effect. Just amazing. Let me bring the plant down. It's just just beautiful i'm so proud of this hoya bella i think this is just as easy to grow as the regular hoya bella and is even more beautiful check that out amazing well i thank you for taking the time and watching my hoya bella care video with all of the different types one of my all-time favorite Hoyas, always will be. And I hope you might have learned something on this video. And I'll be back really soon with more great Hoyas and Hoya growing tips. Thanks again for watching.